So <clears throat> I totally forgot to list the journals that we made in, when was this, September? When we did the, the doctor bag. So these are going to be <clears throat> in the shop. Um, the listing for this particular one, we're going to go ahead and have it like human head and neck, <laughs> something like that. And then this one will be mannequin, head, body, mannequin, get it? Okay. So <clears throat> these are, these are six by about eight and a half. And there's been... A lot of collage work done on the covers. That's pretty much how these were made. And then if I unstick it, then inside of this one, actually inside of both of them, we have those um, printouts from that old book that I had. And so you see all the different layers inside the head. We got a lot of stuff going on inside our head. <laughs> so that's in the front. And then in the back, we have all of the inner workings. And we have various body parts. <laughs> Uh, various body parts, more body parts than we care to know about, all of our intestines, stomach, see all that, that's, that's the end of that one. So that is <clears throat> what's in the front and the back. Then inside, like with most of my journals, it's got a little bit of everything. We got stuff that's um, eco printed or dyed. My little grunge papers. These are some of the original pages from the medical encyclopedia that I used that I got um, most of the stuff that was in the journal. And Some of it's a little creepy, ulcerations and ulcers. This is all about, I guess it says sur surgical diseases. Oh, things you need to get operated on. Boils. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Fractured leg. And as always, with each of my journals, you're going to get a whole packet. This particular packet, I had a lot of things I had printed out. <laughs> so I think there's probably like, there's over 60 pieces inside of the ephemera packet that will come with the journal. So this one is neck and head. And then this one, it's very similar collage work. It has the same... I put the torso in the front on this one and the head in the back of that one. And then all of these, they came from the same book and the same sources of uh, papers. So very similar.
here you go. And then we have the ones that we made that were a replica of like a, um, a doctor's bag. I think these came out so cute. Okay, so this one I'm just marking it as number three. And the construction is is the same. And so it can fan out like that to expose all the things that we put in there. Or you can just kind of, there's a pocket right here. Or you can flip it and it has all these little doodads that you can pull out and write on. Some things are glued down. These are removable. All the little tags. Oh, I like how this came out. This is kind of cool. And then if you flip it, then you can see all the other tags and embellishments that's here in the back. And this also will come with um, the, the bag of ephemera, about over 50 pieces, close to 60. This is number three. Oh, and let me give you the size of this. <clears throat> this is about seven by five. I think I'm going to start coughing. I got my allergies really bad today. <clears throat> this is number nine. And you can see it's made, the construction is the same. It's just been decorated differently. Now when you flip it over. And there you go. And this is number nine. Now, I also forgot. <laughs> I, I, you know, I forget these things. I also have the ones when we did the doors that I never listed these two. Oh, my gosh. These were a lot of fun. Remember, we made all these doors from scratch. A lot of people thought this was a printout. This is not a printout. This is all built up with pieces of cardboard and um so there was there was some work involved <laughs> and then this one i i did this more well obviously when you see the colors on here i was more um influenced by the colors of the middle east you know like in indian pakistan places like that oh and this is this will be whoops on the doors this will be number one and I've got packs in here with different printouts and ephemera. And then this has a bunch of uh, a bunch of flippy doodahs. And here's some printouts in here. And then some more so that you can, you know, add and embellish what's already in here. And then there's a journal in the back that you can use some of that on. And then <clears throat> and then this has a little booklet in here. And some more print out and then in the back there is a journal and it has as usual all of the different papers I like to use and I have some other little printouts that I threw in there as full pages just folded up has all the different doors so that you can 
embellish these pages with that. There you go. And that goes in there. And then you'll also get a separate packet with some other printouts that you can use to embellish the this book. Whoops, I'll do that later. So as far as the book, this is number one. I have one more. One more. Remember we did this one. It's an altered book. And then I did the work on here to make the raised panels and the little doorknob and all that stuff. So this will be number two. And this one just has more of the traditional architecture. And I'll have a little packet that goes with this also. So you can further embellish or even make another journal. Oh, and I forgot to give you the dimensions on the other one. I'll get that for you. So this one, this one is six by a little over nine. It's number two. And this one is eight and a half by six. So there you go. This will be door number one. Ooh, what's behind door number one? Door number two. Medicine bag nine. Medicine bag three and then we have the human head and neck and the mannequin these will all be in the shop <laughs> i hope it finds a new home somewhere and yeah, as always i hope it's with you